uh, Tom with uh, TheOutdoorCookStore.com. Uh, hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Uh, special thanks to uh, all of our subscribers, YouTube and newsletter subscribers as well. This we really appreciate you following us and uh, hope you enjoy. Um, today I'm going to do uh, a little cornbread, uh, cast iron cornbread. Uh, we're going to do it, I'm going to do it a couple different ways. No, I'm going to do it uh, here. Uh, we'll, we'll cook in a skillet in the oven. We're also going to do it outside on a uh, Dutch oven, a camp Dutch oven cooked in the cold. So, uh, also I'm going to do a little different recipe for one. One, I'm going to include some jalapeno. Uh, so we're going to make jalapeno cornbread. The other will just be regular cornbread. So, um, recipe. Uh, I got my dry ingredients, wet ingredients. Couple eggs, uh, buttermilk, a little bit of whole milk. Uh, by the way, I'll have the whole, uh, the entire uh, recipe and all the measurements in a blog post. So click to the out, click to the outdoor cooks uh, comment. It'll, it'll take you to this blog post. Um, dry ingredients. Uh, obviously, we have cornmeal, a little bit of all-purpose flour, uh, baking soda, baking powder, sugar, salt. And uh, I believe that's it. So, I'm going to mix that in. I've also got some butter here, melted butter. Uh, that should be a quarter cup. So, I'm going to mix this all together. And uh, we're going to go until it... Uh, Until all the lumps are out and good consistency. Okay, in this batch, I'm also going to put in some jalapeno. Now, rather than get whole jalapeno, I just used uh, just uh, uh, sliced jalapenos, uh, you know, in a in a in a jar. So uh, these things work real well. You know, use as much as you want. I've got a couple of tablespoons here diced up, so you can use, you know, one. Two, three, whatever. So I'll put that in there. And then I've got some corn niblets. Uh, I like putting some, I've got uh, about, this is about two thirds of a cup. And I'm going to put about half in this and half in the next batch. So uh, this just gives it good, uh, good texture. I, some people use more than I do. Some people use a half cup, three quarters of a cup per batch. Um, I don't use quite as much, but. Uh, uh, it does add some texture. So once you've got your ingredients all mixed, then add in your jalapeno, your uh, your corn niblets. You can use either frozen niblets or you can, uh, you know, out of a can. So, and now I need to put a little butter in my preheated cast iron, 10 inch cast iron uh, skillet. And I just need to coat the sides and the bottom of this. And get plenty on there. A little extra butter. Yeah, I don't know, some people say it's not healthy, but... It doesn't hurt when you cook it and you want some good flavorful uh, baking, so that isn't going to hurt anything. Okay, so I'm going to take um, my mixture, pour it in, get all that in there, and uh, now I have, I preheated my oven, stay, I preheated my oven 425 to, to preheat uh, my uh, cast iron skillet. I have then readjusted the oven to 375. I'm going to put the skillet in, and that should take 20 to 25 minutes to cook. Um, so we'll come back, I'll show you how I set up out of there on the Dutch oven outside. And uh, we'll come back and uh, 
check both of them out in a bit. So we'll be back. Okay. Now, there she is, uh, golden brown. You can see the cracks running through there. Uh, so you just want to cook it till, till it looks like that. Give it the old toothpick test. Comes out dry. You know, and it's done. And uh, that took a full 25 minutes, maybe about 27. So, you know, anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes, really, you got to just make sure it's cooked all the way. So that's one. What will happen, I'm going to let this uh, sit for 15, 20 minutes. As this cools, it will kind of separate away and uh, from, the, from the skillet. So we'll let that cool, and uh, we'll go attack the uh, Dutch oven outside. Okay, uh, we're out here with uh, my 10-inch uh, Camp Dutch oven. Uh, we're going to try to get right around 375 degrees, just like uh, in the oven, and that's going to be... Uh, six coals on the bottom, 15 on top, and it's been preheating a little bit. So, first thing I need to do is we're going to cook this just like we did the, the skillet. But so, let's get our butter in there. And make sure we get it on the sides as well as on top, or as well as the bottom. Let me use these guys. And paper towel, because that's hot in there. And like I said, I want to make sure and get the sides on the top. Or in the bottom. And fairly good right there. Okay. Now we got our mix. Now this, I don't have jalapeno on this one, but it's the same batch except for jalapeno. So I've got a little bit some nibbles in there. Uh, otherwise, it's the same mixture. So we're going to pour it in there. So we're well greased. Dutch oven. And we're going to put the top back on. And again, we're going to let that go. A good 25 minutes, probably. Okay, my uh, jalapeno has uh, it's cooled sufficiently. Still warm. Let's give that a try. See how she tastes. Ooh, that looks good. You can see the jalapeno is in there. Wow, that is good. You got a little bit of heat with the jalapeno, but the sweet cornbread, man, that's good. That is pretty freaking good. Hmm, still warm, fresh out of the oven. That one's a winner. That one is a winner. So, we've got our other one cooking outside on the uh, Dutch oven, and uh, let's see how that uh, ends up uh, in uh, just a bit. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Take a look. She's done too. Now the crack, you can see the cracking a little bit through here. It's a little different, uh, but it's golden brown. This way there's more heat on top, I guess. Kind of see where it's separated, starting to separate a little from there. Take that in, comes out. Pretty much dry. So uh, this one looks done to me too. So this has been darn near a half hour for this one. So uh, let's give it a chance to uh, cool off and we'll, uh, we'll see how we did. So we'll be back. Okay, this has been sitting for about 15 minutes. So 
Let's uh, give her a try. Uh, our niblets and uh, let's see how she tastes. That too is a winner. Very good recipe. Uh, I kind of favor one with the jalapenos a little bit, but mm, this is sweet. Very good. So that's done in the Dutch oven. You know, if you want, uh, you're on a camping trip. You want some uh, good uh, cornbread? 10, even a 12 inch, but I'd use a 10 inch uh, Dutch oven and uh, cook it up in the campsite. Or in your backyard. Hey, turns, turns out great. tastes great. So, listen everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you like uh, cornbread, this is a great recipe, either in your uh, in your oven or uh, out in your backyard or the campsite with your, with your uh, camp Dutch oven. So, Listen, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch up to you next time.